Okay, so um, we, we came across an interesting statistic recently um, that you may or may not know, and that's that 92% of U.S. statuary actually commemorates men. So if you go into Central Park, of 29 statues, zero commemorate women. If you go into Chicago's parks, there are 48 statues, zero commemorate women. Parliament Square, 11 men, zero women. Mount Rushmore, four white dudes. If you put someone else in, it'll crumble. Um, the problem with this is that humans trust the nonverbal, right? So that's a very big nonverbal sign to our next generation. Um, we take girls into the park and we make them look around and they see, you know, if, I, if I'm a male war hero, then, you know, I guess that's my role model or that's what I could be. Um, so why don't we just start building his statues of historic women? Well, as it turns out, uh, it's not that easy to do. It takes uh, a lot of money, permits, time, and then more money. Here's the Girl Scout troop from New York who's working with the Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton Fund to erect statues to those two women in Central Park, and they've been working on it for years, and it's going to cost a million dollars. And the piece of land that they bought is actually a ravine. <laughs> so there, there's nowhere to put the statue. So how do we change this? Um, obviously, we thought the only way that we could change this is through technology. Uh, so we created the whole story, which is a first of its kind augmented reality experience that puts uh, notable historic women, an AR layer of them, uh, in parks around the world. So we started the project in our own backyard. This is Central Park. That was Central Park. Uh, there are 23 statues of men there. So we, we made... We made women. Um, so we took that idea to Current Studios, a tech company in Nova Scotia, and we said, we want to make this augmented reality experience. Can you help us with it? And they said, actually, as of a few weeks ago, we can because now the technology exists to actually ground those statues. So not only geolocating, but grounding them. So they helped us, and we started making statues. And uh, we've placed those statues. Here you can see a few of our first original statues in Central Park for women like Amelia Earhart, Emily Dickinson, Lorraine Hansberry, Shirley Chisholm. Shirley Chisholm. Uh, then we utilized our wine art global network and we started placing statues around the world. Uh, and we are continuing to do that. Um, but the most exciting part about this for us is that this is an open platform. So we can only maybe build so many statues, but everybody else can build statues wherever they want. Uh, so there are, there are a few ways that you can get involved. Uh, you can discover statues if you want. You can take your kids out to the park, and you can see these notable women. And if you know how to code a statue, you can actually code your own statue and upload it to thewholestoryproject.com. Yeah. And then finally, uh, you can create your own collaboration using uh, get-together coders, designers, and historians, and add women to the platform. Yeah. So, so what we're saying is that together, uh, we can make history the whole story. Thank you.